Hello team and welcome to today's video where we're going to cover how to get early access to some of Microsoft's features by signing up for their insider program. To show you a few examples, as of the date I'm making this video in Excel, some of the new features include a new checkbox built into the insert tab that is much easier to use. To insert the old checkboxes, you would have to add the developer tab, click insert, and under form controls, you could click the checkbox and draw it out. You would then have to manually link each checkbox you create to the cell desired. But with the new checkboxes, when you insert them, they're linked to their underlying cell and you can use them for conditional formatting and other cool features such as inserting the current date. Additionally, Excel has released the group by and pivot by functions that are currently only available through the Microsoft Insider program and allow you to create a summary of your data using a formula, similar to a pivot table, but with some additional flexibility. Signing up for the Insider program is easy to do and free, but just ensure to save your work before enrolling as Microsoft may need to run updates upon completion. If you'd like to enroll in the Insider program, you can go to the File tab for any of your Microsoft applications, then click on Account, then click the drop-down for Microsoft 365 Insider, then click Join. Within the Join dialog box, there's a drop-down located here that gives you a couple of different options for which channel you'd like to sign up for. If you want the quickest access to the latest features still in development, select the Beta channel as I have selected here, you can also select the current channel if you'd just like to receive monthly updates that are more stable. After selecting your channel, click OK. And as mentioned before, Microsoft may need to run updates prior to completion. Once the updates are finished, you can relaunch your programs and check out all the new features. For additional information on release notes for the beta channel or the current channel, check the link in the description. Additionally, I'll leave a link in the description for the Microsoft 365 blog, where you can check out different releases and new features coming to these programs, including the group by and pivot by functions we discussed earlier. Team, I hope you enjoyed this video today. Please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos and leave comments about additional tips you'd like to see covered.